Hey guys, welcome back to The Voip Guys. Uh, last time around we promised that we'd start a new topic. So we are starting a new topic. And basically what we're doing is we are going to take a look at uh, interactive voice response, so IVR menus. Uh, what they are, why we need them, and so on and so on. And to start off with, we will be sh demonstrating how you can use custom prompts, how to make them, uh, how to in integrate them into your uh, system, and so on and so on. So Matthias. Start us off, why do we need these prompts? Yeah, the main reason is if you make an IVR menu or if you make um, another decision in your PBX like um, I'm on holiday or not, mm -hmm. you need a prompt. Yeah. We already had a look at prompts. Yeah, with business hours. Yeah, with mm. business hours and so on. Um, we explained how it works. Mm -hmm. um, there are different directories, channel variables in German and English and yeah. how the decision is, which file is taken at the end. We discussed all about that, but then we said, those are the files, use it. Yeah. Okay. And um, that's not <laughs> useful because um, we need to know how to produce them because mm -hmm. in every or almost every asterisk setup, we need some kinds of prompts and we need somehow to produce them. Yeah. So we'll have a look at it. We will have a look at two different techniques. Okay. One is it's cheap and fast. Just use your phone, call the asterisk system uh -huh. and record the prompt. Um, the other one is um, to use software to do so and record it, transcode it to the right format. So cheap versus professional? Yes. Okay. Nobody wants to listen to prompts which are just um, recorded from a phone. This is true. But it's possible. Okay, right, so take it away. Let's see. <laughs> ah, look at that. I can see where we had one of our prompts before, TT uh, monkeys. Yes, that's true. <laughs> you could use them in any case. But we're not going to. It's not a good idea. Um, we say no op recording. Next is. So this is the first option for doing it on your phone, yeah? The first, the recording? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. We need to answer the channel. We need to record something, test. And we decide to use a WAV file. Mm -hmm. um, you could uh, choose different formats like GSM yeah. um, um, or like that WAV, but GSM mm -hmm. is just a special form of WAV. Okay. But uh, if you say WAV here, um, that means it's mono because no phone is stereo. This all. is true, yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, it's mono and it uses disk space, I think, one megabyte per one minute. Right, okay. And it's okay for the most common codecs which are used, which is ALO and ULO. ULO. Mm -hmm. And so this is the quality of ALO and ULO. If you have um, another codec like HD, yep. maybe you could use also an HD recording, mm -hmm. um, but I think you don't can um, hear the difference yeah. if you have a good quality recording. And to be fair, probably the majority of calls would be done in... Yeah, 99%. Yeah, so mm -hmm. yeah, there wouldn't be much point to that. Okay, fair enough. We will see. Yep. So this is the recording. And a hang up. So what do we expect? We call star 555, it answers the call, we can record something and then it hangs up. Yeah. We save that. Reload the dial plug. Let me just call. We hear the beep. Now it starts immediately recording. I can record. Now what I'm now saying is recorded already. It doesn't give you much of an option, does it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it's fast and easy. Mm -hmm. um, the next hint is you could, if you have a hardware phone, yeah. you just could hang up mm -hmm. now. Um, the problem is you have the you, rocker takak. Oh, you would your, get that horrible click. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I hate that with voicemail systems. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's not very convenient. So there is another solution. You just can um, dial the pound or the hash key. Yeah. Okay. You can do it on a soft phone or on a hard phone. This does not matter. Just dial it. And then it stops the recording. Okay. And goes to the next application, which is in our case hang up. The hang up. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. So I do that. And as you can see, I pressed it. Mm -hmm. it hung up. And that's it. Let's see what happened in the file system. It's 
stored to var lib asterisk sans. There is a subdirectory de, uh, sorry, en, uh, which means there are all um, English standard asterisk prompts in there. Okay. So mm -hmm. um, if the channel variable is set to English, mm -hmm. then it first searches in English, do I find my uh, prompt? If not, it goes to um, uh, goes one level up to the next directory and searches there as a fallback. Uh -huh. So the standard behavior of asterisk is if you record something, it puts it to the fallback directory ah. to, um, uh, to, uh, that it works in any case. Okay, fair enough. Uh -huh. So our test of is directly in sounds and not in, in the, the language variable. Language. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. um, if you record two sounds, you could just record them and then copy them to the correct uh, language subdirectory. Okay. Mm -hmm. If a German and English. Right, instance, okay, fair enough. And you can just do it by hand. But we mm -hmm. produced um, already uh, a WAV file. It's not that big, you can see. Yep. Um, it took a while, I think, almost a minute the recording was running. Mm -hmm. So we have not a, a megabyte, but a little less. And that's our recording. We, the date's yeah. wrong because the date on the yeah. system's wrong. <laughs> the date on the system is wrong, we can prove that. <laughs> and, and here, um, Here's the real date. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, sorry for that. This is the virtual machine. We are freezing our virtual machines and then they wake up again. Yeah, okay. And <laughs> Never mind. Yeah. No problem. Um, so, this is the test Wafi produced. We can listen to it. Um, it sounds very ugly because I just used the microphone of my uh, notebook, which mm -hmm. is connected to the soft phone. Right, okay. And I think the quality is very poor. Okay. Um, the next thing is, um, you cannot do things like um, cutting or mastering the file. Uh -huh. So, um, if I make a mistake or if the start is not good because mm -hmm. I started um, I started too early or too late or something like yeah. this, mm -hmm. or um, I said too much and I just want to cut it out, something. Can't do it. You can't do it. The next thing is, um, the quality is not only um, because of the format you choose, wave mm -hmm. or something. The most push to your quality can be done by a proper recording. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so recording is much more important than the recording equipment you're using. It's much more important than the, the, the file format you're choosing. Uh -huh. Is that why we've got this down here? Yes. You can have a look at this. Uh -huh. you, should, mm. you should just use <laughs> a microphone. Um, and you should use a software, you should do a recording, mm -hmm. and then you should integrate the recording into Asterisk. Okay. Um, we can see how that works and what you can do um, with your prompts. Mm -hmm. um, and I recommend to use the software Order City. Okay, sure. It's free, it's mm -hmm. open source software. I'm not sure, the, uh, yes, it is all also open source software. Mm -hmm. And it's available for Mac, for Linux, for BSD, for Windows, for I don't know. So pretty much for any platform? Uh, not any, not but, any but most. The most. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. gotcha. Mm -hmm. um, and you can do very, very clean and proper recording in there. You can cut something out, uh, you can fill something in, mm -hmm. you can mix something. Uh, oh. Maybe you want your prompts uh, with underlying music. Uh -huh. uh, stuff like this. Okay. You and could, could you, for this. example, take if, like on a classic IVR for an international business, or have Press One for English, mm -hmm. uh, Zwei for Deutsch, blah blah blah? Um, can you get those prompt files? Because obviously, not every speaker can speak all the languages. Mm -hmm. They make individual prompt files and then mix them together. Yes. Cool. I think things like this. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about professional and um, how you can do the recording. If you have international recordings, like we have in many cases, mm -hmm. um, for different languages, yeah. then you for sure need a native speaker. Yeah. Otherwise, it sounds weird. Yeah. Um, Sorry. So yeah, <laughs> um, you can see that in our tutorials <laughs> that it sounds weird. Um, no. Yeah. Um, there are many companies which have um, the equipment and the people to do this. Mm -hmm. and you can just pay money and. Get produce them. the files. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. That's cheaper than you think. Um, it starts by a few euros, I think 50 to 100. Okay. You can produce such a file. Okay. So if you want to be really professional, 
And then I think the best choice is to let your your prompts produced by a, by a professional, agency. A professional agency. Okay. Yeah. Um, but if you want to achieve good quality by yourself, then I can show you how. Let's do that then. Come on. Um, this is Order City. You can choose your microphone. Um, we are lucky we can just uh, use the microphones we're using for the video because our uh, audio mixer is an <laughs> output to our uh, workstation. So we can just use them. I can click on monitoring and then you can see uh, the gain is okay, uh, the, the recording level is okay, it's not clipping, things like this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then I can just um, hit the recording button and now we are recording already. Testing, testing, testing. Yeah, and we are also recording uh, two different microphones. So it's very enhanced, but you get the idea. And you can do the recording here now. And you can also do some yeah, little tricks to make a better audio quality. Okay. You can use a compressor, mm -hmm. which um, uh, makes a, a better voice or... Um, yeah, the, the, the tutorial is too short to explain yeah. what, the exp mm -hmm. what the compressor does. Yeah. Um, but it makes a more clear and a more um, present it. sound of your voice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's uh, what he does. And Auto City has such effects. You can just uh, use a compressor, and it's very simple. You can say he should almost gain up um, to uh, zero dB if the compressing is done. And what you can see, it gets a little bit louder, mm -hmm. but it does not clip. So clipping is that it makes yeah. um, mm -hmm. when there is too much um, uh, interference. Or yeah too much level or too much gain in your audio. So you can do it like this, compress it, make it nice. Yeah. Maybe you can open another track uh -huh. and just um, make some music in there. You can fade in, fade out music. So, uh -huh. so uh, you could basically make your entire music on hold system in there. Yeah, everything. Okay, so you could have your, like, your prompt saying, uh, if you're looking for a certain piece of information, visit blah, 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 dot com. Uh, and before that announcement comes in, you fade the music out a little bit, the announcement mm -hmm. comes in, and then you fade that out and bring the music back. Yeah. Cool. No, something like this. And it's mm -hmm. very, very easy. Um, the tool can ne not do so much as a professional tool, but for our recordings, mm -hmm. it's enough. And I think for most businesses, it's probably going to be enough as yeah. well. Mm -hmm. And uh, even if you're talking about costs, all you need is a microphone. Um, yeah. Uh, like this, it's not so expensive. I think it's about 100 euros or... 120 yeah. euros. And just like in case it. you're interested, you know, no advertising here, but Samsung. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I bought it somewhere in the past, so <laughs> it's, it's it's okay. You can you all you need is really a microphone, mm -hmm. and then you can boost your quality. I think about 300, 400 percent. Okay, good um, to know. Com, uh, compared to I record it on the phone. Okay. So once we've got the recordings here, <coughs> okay, how do we then bring that into uh, the asterisk system? That's part of the next tutorial. Okay, there you go, you have it. Um, in the next tutorial, we'll show you how to do that. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Bye.